name is Lauritz Flensted Jensen. I'm from Denmark. I live in Copenhagen. I'm here to present a film called Neon Heart. It's my debut feature film. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Did I answer all your questions? Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, your film Neon Heart, what is it about actually? Well, it's an um, uh, ensemble piece where you follow three characters over the course of a day. It's, I like to call it a kale kaleidoscopic uh, journey. It's like you watch this big puzzle of fragments and all these fragments speak to each other. Uh, but there's no like um, there's uh, even some uh, fragments missing, so you the audience has to like collect the pieces themselves. Um, all right, that's very abstract. Of course, um, the film in general is about uh, sexuality and stigmatization. Um, there's a, you follow this uh, the the character of a ex porno actress, porn actress, and how this. Uh, past keeps haunting her and how the different characters in the story, the other different characters in the story, perceive her and, and look at her from that perspective all, uh, all the time, so it keeps haunting her and then you also follow this other character who is a caretaker of people with Down Syndrome and he um, he takes them on a journey where he leads them to a brothel uh, and this is also like it, it the film twists and turns this sexuality theme all the time, like how do we perceive people who are People with Down syndrome, mental uh, illness. Uh, what is our, the audience, perception of these uh, people and their sexuality? So, this is how the the film plays around with this all the time. Yeah. So sexuality as a key theme, I yeah. understood. Yeah, yes. Why is it important to tell such a story? We've had so many films about sexuality until now. Why this film? Well, why? Because I think it's one of the most like. Um, important energies in life yeah, I mean it's 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 uh, something that is so so important to a human being and their identity and also very fragile at the same time so uh, I think it's it will never become in, not important to uh, to tell stories about that at the same time sexuality is a very sensible topic yeah. Was it challenging during shooting process? I've seen your film yesterday and I've seen some scenes which are really interesting and I thought, well, if I was about to shoot those scenes, wow, how would I do it? Tell me something about it, please. <laughs> yeah, well, there's uh, there's a very central scene uh, in the film uh, where there's a, uh, Niklas, one of the main characters, he leads uh, the two other uh, characters from the film, Kevin and Christian. They both have Down syndrome and they're real people with Down syndrome acting in the film. He takes them to a brothel for them to experience love and intimacy. And of course, this scene was very challenging. It was the first thing I wrote. And I knew, okay, this scenario is really, it's playing with my mind, it's playing with my perception, it's challenging even my perception on, on these people. So I knew I had to do it somehow. I needed to explore this scenario, but I also knew this was really stepping beyond borders of, of what is like considered to be all right or okay to do within a film. Like it's, it's ethical boundaries. I'm stepping beyond these ethical boundaries. So I had to be really careful in doing so. And uh, I think we did. We I hired this intimacy coach who works uh, on a daily basis with Kevin and Christian, the actors uh, with Down syndrome. I hired him and, and actually he came along with me on the shooting and before we shot the, the, the entire film, we shot some research scenes and we went back over and showed these scenes to Kevin and Christian and talked with them about their experience. And, and we shot it with real, uh, uh, one woman who was a real prostitute and and other was was strippers, so these were sex workers, and and we shouted to, to create a, a really authentic and and intimate and beautiful uh, scene. Yeah, so that was quite challenging. You chose to work with professional actors and also with non-professional actors. Yeah. Why that? Well, it comes back to what we just talked about. Um, in what I'm trying to achieve in this film and in general when I'm working is like to pull the audience closer to the. Um, to the screen. Uh, I think that we're used to watching cinema where we have this, uh, distan this distance between us and, and the screen that we, we feel like, well, this is just fiction we're watching. It's, it's not. And I, I, I try to work the other way. I, I try to get it as authentic as possible. So you cannot like say, this is just fiction. You will, you, you're going to sit there and you're going to feel anxious because 
is this for real? What's going on? Is it, all the reactions, all the situations seem so real? So it's difficult to push them away, and that's what I'm I'm trying to achieve, and and that's also why I'm creating an environment that forces the professional actors into situations where their very um, their reactions are very um, true because they're they're slightly out of their comfort zone because they're working with real people, giving them real emotional responses, um, and and I think this all adds up to a to a yeah, some kind of uh, nerve within the film that I like. You've already, already mentioned the audience and reactions. You've had had your first Q&A yesterday. Yeah. How was it? How was the how were the reactions of our festival audience here in Braunschweig? You're nominated for the Audience Award as well, so you might be interested in that. Yeah, of course I'm interested. And this is the first time I'm showing the film in Germany, so it was a really good experience yesterday to present it to the German audience for the first time. Um, I think we had some good conversations about what we're talking about right now and I think a lot of people respond especially to that scene we just talked about and uh, I'm, I'm always like I actually love that moment to get out here and speak to people about it and see how they react to it so I, I, I think we had some good and also some worried minds in there in the, in the audience and, and then we speak about it afterwards and that's usually a good thing and it was yesterday. So nice. How is your impression from the festival so far? You've arrived yesterday. What do you think about the festival, the audience, the atmosphere here? So far, I just had. I mean, I arrived yesterday, so I haven't like been here for um, such a long time. But uh, so far, it's been really good. I, I love the uh, concept that that there's a lot of volunteers here. It creates a really nice community around the festival, and and I've been. I was also been in a panel discussion today where we talked about body images on screen and that was really just like some of the same we had like some 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 harsh discussions in there also and and some critical questions and i i i, I feel that my work come alive very much here because i'm actually meeting people who are not just they're like they're going into it and 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 so Talking about your work, what are your next projects coming up? Where are we able to see your next films? <laughs> well, uh, I have a film that I just finished. It's a documentary. Um, it's called Show Dancer. It's a film about this... Um, I call it like a, a, a show dancer, a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, story with this uh, man who is a professional show dancer, but he's also a criminal drug addict. So he steps in and, in and out of these two identities, and he's uh, um, some of the time he's in prison, some of the time he's out there dancing and being on stage in front of 10,000 people, being a loving, caring person, and 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 he's like always moving between these two identities. And I think that's really important story because I think a lot of us hold or possess both really opposite sides in our in a, in our character, and and he's just an extreme example of this but uh, I think we, we, we have that all and, and I think that's really interesting to explore because usually a person would try to present the self image or to create the self images that you want like for example now I'm sitting here I'm thinking about how to present myself and 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 in here we see a man who's like completely torn apart by these opposite sides and I I think we all all are some some somewhere sounds really interesting so we're excited to see your next projects for now we have neon heart thank you very much for this interview have fun at Braunschweig International Film Festival and hope to see you soon again thank you